Is the second petitioner here? Okay, uh, we'll, go ahead, we'll go ahead and hear you uh, before we get into public testimony. So uh, please come up, and apologies, applicant and planning director, if you could please return. Yes. Please state your name and area of residence. Uh, my name is Kiave KKK Alapai. Residence now is uh, Kelia Malka. Mahalo. Uh, uh, you may begin your presentation. Thank you. Okay. Um, I guess we're tying everybody into this lineal descent, lateral descent. So um, my name is Kiabi KKK Alapai, seventh of my name. So my mom, to make it easier, I'm just going to stick direct. So my mom is Kalua Alapai. Her father is Kiabi Alapai, Jr., or the third. Kiabe Alapai, the third father is Kiabe Jr. Kiabe Alapai Jr.'s father is Kiabe Sr. Alapai. Kiabe Amahi Sr. So that's my great, second great grandfather, Kiabe Alapai Sr. His father is William David Kahino Namai Elua. His, uh, was that okay? Third, third great grandfather, William David Damayelu. Married. All right, then his. Father is Namailua. Namailua's wife is Kinao. Kinao, daughter of Kamehameha and Kalakua Kaumanu. So Kamehameha, royal descent, so and so. His father is Kiowa. Kiowa, actually Kalani Kupua Pai Kalani Nui Kiowa is his name. Kiowa's father is Keo Mokunui. Keo Mokunui's father, uh, mother is, the no, father is Keawe Kikahiali or Kamoku Keawe, so they say. His mother is <coughs> Keakilani Wahine. Kiakilani Wahine's mom is Kiakamahana. So now that's where we, I tie in the whole Ahupua, every island, however you want to call it, because they're all ruling chiefs of every island. That's how I tie in. And then I'm going to tie in my grand aunt, Auntie Simi. She's a Akao, a Suik Akao. My second great grandfather is William Paul Akao. Married Lydia Awa Kahokano. So she's coming in as a lateral descendant, not a lineal. Or maybe a lineal, I guess. She can write lineal. But lineal, lateral, she's tied into my Alapai Akao family. Any questions? At this time, um, well, commissioners, do you have any questions of the? Applicant. I was just wondering what your specific connection to this area is. Oh, my s specific connection is lineal descendant, yeah, of the property, you know, basically every island is <coughs> lineal descendant. Ruling chiefs had property on every island, right? They have, they have to give it to their. Please speak into your mic. Oh, <laughs> the ruling chiefs of the of the land, like let's see, Moko Kiabe, he ruled. Big Island, passed it over, or well, he got taken over by Alapai Inui. Then his son took over, Kiawe Opala. He got taken over by Kalani Opu. Kalani Opu got taken over by Kamehameha. Kamehameha took over, gave his kids one, two, three, four, five, um, the properties. And then we went into the democratic system and then Lunalino, my other ancestor, became ruling chief. And then the Kalakaua era came. They voted them in. And then Kalakaua passed. Lilio Kalani was the last. And uh, yes, uh, Lino descendant. That's who I am. That's who Auntie uh, Simi is also. Uh, but any questions? Yeah, I have one more, and then we'll get, get to you, because some of these questions might be yours. But uh, just specifically, and for our education, what uh, cultural practices do you continue? I pray. As a um, in our 
uh, family. I know people, they worship Ku, Lono, you know, other gods. That's not my god. That's not the Hawaiians. Hawaiians god was, his name was Kaono Hio Kala. This is 12th century Hawaiians. It's not uh, Pa'au Hawaiians. Like, Pa'au came from Tahiti, trying to demo, uh, what they call, uh, indoctrinated us in Ku, Lono, all these gods. But Hawaiians' actual religion is Kaono Hio Kala. And that's like uh, the sun, yeah? You know, the sun was, in every culture, the sun is the god uh, of everybody, you know, like, <coughs> because the sun brings life and so But anyways, that's my religion, Kaono Hio Kala. I practice, I, I worship to him all the time, every day. <coughs> and uh, yes, any more questions? No more questions, thank you, uh, applicant. You the uh, traditional and cultural practices that uh, you've uh, mentioned in your intervention, and maybe you can help me read the, the writing, but it looks like that you're saying that in tuning but not limited to limu, seaweed, salt, or pihi, it's fishing. Oh, yes, throw that, yeah, all this, yes. Fishing as well as customary surf at said property. Yes, correct, so, yes. Okay. We have no further questions. Uh, other than maybe the, the, the prayers that you um, offer daily, um, is that done at the property, at the subject property? Um, sometimes when I'm there in the area, picking up PE or PPP, you know. Um, Approximately yeah. how many times do you go in a year, let's say, to the property? Well, uh, pretty much a lot. I'm there, there. I'm there, well, close to it every day. And um, to time in a little bit more further, I guess, that where the property is, Right next to that property, my grandfather, uh, Kiabe Alapai, and Mary Arthur Spinney live right there, where that blue house is, that octagon house, right there. That's where they, they live, they play, they worship, everything. So that's for, just for my grandfather. My great-grandfather was a caretaker of the Balikai area all the way across, before the Balikai, when he used to work for the Hine family and um, he was the caretaker of the property. So from one, one end of that property to the end where the blue house is, my roots run deep. From me to my grandfather over here where they lived, to my great-grandfather caretaking the whole property here. And then when you go back some more, then we hit the ruling chiefs, right? Alapai, Kiabe, Kamehameha. So that's how deep I run. Any more questions? No, no further questions. All right. Thank you. Mr. Uh, Mr. Yee, do you have any objections to the petition? No, I do not. Thank you. Thank you all. You may be seated. Uh, 